let's go over some new protections going into effect for San Diego renters this year. Overall, there are many of our local politicians who are calling for stricter rent controls and more rights for tenants as they try to recognize housing as a human right. So I definitely recommend that you reach out to your eviction attorney to get more information on these new measures, to understand them in more depth, but be aware there are a lot of proposals that negatively impact landlords coming. Now more than ever, landlords need to speak up because the majority of the noise is coming from tenants and the tenants' rights groups. So. Let's get into it. Starting July 1st, 2024, AB 12 goes into effect, which means that landlords can only require a security deposit of one month's rent. The only exception is for small landlords who collectively own no more than four units total unless they're active duty military. So what I'm saying is if you own a four unit building, then you don't have to, to abide by this rule. You can collect more than one month's depo security deposit. If you own four units in San Diego and some other property uh, out of state or out of the area, that does not count. You own more than four units. Uh, so basically the other thing is, is that the attorney of this article that I was reading said you can't call it a pet deposit. You can't you can't sort of use all those little loopholes that we've used in the past for various rules. So look out for that. Also, SB 267 went into effect on January 1 of this year, 2024. This essentially allows Section 8 tenants to tell a prospective landlord on their application that they don't want their credit pulled and they only want to demonstrate their ability to pay, which could be a bank statement or their voucher. So landlords can only refer to rental history, criminal records, and eviction history when making a decision to rent to Section 8 tenants. So I'm, I'm going to be interested to see how this goes with landlords, frankly, that have been accepting Section 8 uh, because this makes it much more difficult. You cannot look at their credit history if they request that you don't, uh, which just makes it that much harder and puts the landlord at that much more liability with a tenant, you know, that's maybe not demonstrated good credit history, which is a measure of how responsible they are and all that good stuff. So uh, you will not be able to do that. Uh, you cannot do that as of January 1. Now, AB 968 goes into effect on July 1st, 2024, and this is aimed mostly at flippers. This uh, measure states that anyone who's owned a house for less than 18 months is required to disclose all repairs and improvements made during that time, including each contractor used with their contact information and evidence of permits if they were needed. Repairs under $500 don't need to be disclosed. Uh, so I know that a lot of people are used to giving a breakdown of what work was done uh, and all of that, but this is going another step further and they really just want people who are doing, uh, they basically have wanted to expose investors who do poor renovations on their properties. So basically now you've got to give them all of the contractors uh, names, contact information, exactly what work they did for any repairs over $500. So the next measure is AB 567, which takes effect on April 1, 2024. This says if you evict a tenant to move into your property or to move a family member into the property, they must occupy that unit for at least one year. So I know people you know, asked, tenants to vacate based on they are going to move into the unit. They're going to ask a family, a family member is going to move into the unit. So now if you do that, they have to actually occupy the unit for at least one year. So finally, I this is my last measure for now. Uh, I think most of you know this by now, but as of January 1st, 2024, Californians can sell their ADU as a separate entity. Now, this is a statewide law and it's optional. So San Diego has yet to adopt it or I don't think any other, nor has any other municipality in the state. Uh, so even though this law was passed at the state level, San Diego has not uh, adopted this and neither has any other place in California that I'm aware of. So um, if you are building ADUs with the intent to sell, uh, I would be on the lookout to see if San Diego is actually going to adopt this 
or not, because as you can imagine, I think being able to sell ADUs individually or separately uh, sounds like a fabulous idea, but it definitely comes with its complexities. For example, if you have an ADU in a backyard and you want to sell the ADU separately, um, that person's always going to be walking through your yard and and you're going to have a different owner. Maybe if you don't like that person, things like that. There are a lot of complexities that come with selling an ADU separately, but uh, it is at the statewide level. It is just not adopted here in San yet. So just wanted to get you guys updated on a couple of these new rules that are coming into place. And uh, again, I know I've been preaching it over the last year or so, but it's really, really important that you get get involved if you want to stay in San Diego uh, as a landlord. So have a fabulous week, everyone, and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions.